What is up? Welcome to my channel. My name is Jaden. Today I will be showing you how to make simple straps. If you have not already, be sure to hit that like button over here. Hit that subscribe button. Let's get right into this video. Here's what you're going to need. You're going to need a lighter. You're going to need the nylon itself. Oh, uh, this is not a promo, but huge shout out to Strapworks. I will put the link in the bio. Go get the nylon from there. Uh, this is definitely the best nylon to use. I haven't tried the colored ones. I know at GMU we use the tan one. This one I know for a fact is hard. The tan ones that we use can be a little flimsy, so that's why I caution you about that. And you also need scissors. So it, it's not nothing complicated. You're just gonna need three things. Um, I also have another piece of nylon uh, for reference. So here's the first thing you're gonna do. So I already have a strap already made. I recommend using a strap that you already have made. What you're gonna do is you're gonna line that up with the other nylon. So it should look something like that, All right? And then you're gonna cut it right where it ends. So this is at the end of the nylon and you have the nylon at this end. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna line that up and then you're gonna see that there's little grooves in here. You're gonna wanna cut along that. So that way you get it the exact length like that. So now in retrospect, you should have two, but I'm going to use this one as the source. So you should have a piece of nylon strap, but it should not be cut or anything. All right. So step number two, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to cut down the strap. Uh, if we're talking specifics, Let's go ahead and do this. So when making nylon straps, you want to put it in reference to your hand. So here's another thing. If you have bigger hands, you might want to make bigger straps because I know sometimes when you buy straps, they can be smaller, right? And the knot will be smaller. So someone like me, for example, who has bigger hands, you might want a little bit longer. I know for me, uh, when I march Colts, I like to make mine a little bit longer. So that way when I tape the knot, it's it's a lot bulkier. So here we go, we have it right here. This gives you reference of where you should probably cut to. I would say you'd wanna cut where the fulcrum is. So if we're, let's backtrack again. So the fulcrum is this muscle right here that you use for cymbal playing. So when we put the strap on, you wanna cut it right where the fulcrum is. So right about here. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark where that is and start cutting. All right, so perfect. I just finished making my strap. You can see, kind of hard, but you can see that I cut the strap to the fulcrum and maybe it's a little bit longer. That's all right. So this takes me to step number three. So you're gonna get this extra fuzz. I would make a pile so you know where it all is. But what you're gonna do now is you're gonna wanna peel this a little bit so that you're not getting this thick nylon because it can be hard to put the entire strap in your symbol so i would peel um let's say oh boy if i can get this okay there you go so yeah i would get it right about here so if you look at the fray you can see that that's probably about like a centimeter so then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to do that to both sides so i will be doing this All right, so now you're gonna have all this extra strap. What you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna grab your scissors and you're gonna wanna cut this like that. And then do the same thing on the other side. And there you go. This is what you should have now. Uh, go ahead and push all this extra strap over here. We'll just throw that away later. So now this takes us on to number four. So number four is where you're gonna need your lighter. You're gonna have all this extra fray right here. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna start your lighter. Oh, you can also use any lighter. I just choose to use this because it's cheaper, easier. So 
you can go ahead and light where the frays are. So you should get something like this. It should be hardened. You shouldn't see any of these frays that are over here. See how all the frays are gone? So I'm gonna do that to all three now. All right, perfect. So now this is what we should have. We should have four straps or four legs that should be all burned. Uh, there should be no fray. Oop, got a little bit right here. Let me get this real quick. Cool, perfect. So I also wanna make a part two video going specifically into the details of making the strap. So if you'd like to see that, be sure to give this video, uh, let's shoot for, let's say 10 likes. If we can get 10 likes on this video, I will make another video going into details about making straps that fit perfectly to you. Because I know when you buy straps, sometimes the straps can be like too small, or sometimes the straps like they've got like crust on the side, so it makes it harder to put the symbol in. We'll talk about all those specific details, but yeah. So be sure to subscribe. Appreciate all the support. This is a lot of fun. I enjoy making these videos. Uh, you know, the vlogs will keep coming. And yeah, I'll be making more videos on simple tips and how to's. But be sure to also follow my Instagram. That is all for me today, and I will see you in the next video.